Hey guys, Mike here from Binny Outdoors. Today has been an interesting day for me. I took the day off from work because my water heater failed at my house and I needed to get that fixed. So I knew the weather was gonna be good and I was hoping that the project wouldn't take all day, but I took the day off and I got my projects done, got my honeydew list done, and I am on the water out here checking on some pre-spawn bass. Water temps are 58 degrees. These waters have come up in temperature so fast, it's insane. On top of it, I've got a little bit of wind. I have got 65 degree weather, so I'm actually out here in just a regular thin sun shirt, and I am excited to try to locate some bass for you. So let's see if we can locate some big ones that are trying to feed up for the spawn. That didn't take long. Come here, baby. Come here. Hell yeah. First good sized bass of the year on an A Bay crankbait, baby. Hell yeah. That did not take long at all, guys. Not a very long guy, but he's definitely a big guy. Let's uh, get his photo, get him back in the water. As you saw, I got that first fish really quickly within 10 minutes of being out here. A Bay Lure Lab Square Bill is the bait of choice. We're going to be working baits that are cast and retrieve, and we're going to be working them super slowly, just barely reeling them. Just getting them to just barely knock, barely move. Those fish are going to be a still a little bit lethargic with the cold water temps, but they're also going to want to feed up for the spawn. We're at 58 degree water, so that means they're going to be getting closer to that 60 degree and getting ready to start heading to the banks, heading shallow, and getting ready to make babies. So my plan here is to just keep moving. We're gonna be constantly searching. We're gonna be running casts constantly, chatterbaits, square bills, lipless, and we're just gonna slow roll everything and see how many of these pre-spawners we can put in the boat. Hello. And then it like kinda opens up a little bit. There's usually like Lily pads on both sides, um, like right there, A bay, crank bait, smoked it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, I gotta chill. This is a big fish, I'll let you go, I'll cry back in a minute. This is a fucking big one. Come here, baby. Come here. That is a big boy, guys. That's a big fish. Hell yeah. It's gonna be a good day. Hell yeah. Look at the size of this fish, guys. That is a big boy. Look at the girth. Look at the belly on that bass. Check that bass out, guys. Kitek Easy Shiner every freaking time. Look at the size of that fish, guys. Massive bass, I love it. That is exactly why we do this. That's probably 17 inch or so. Awesome fish, guys. It's gonna be a good day. Those bass are on and I am excited. So that was again, slow rolling, a nice easy bait. Kitek Easy Shiner and the Pro Blue Shiner, something that if you've been following my channel, you know all about because I use this bait all the time. On a belly weighted hook, 1 8 ounce VMC, gets the job done.
Come here. Come on, man. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! Another A Bay lure, baby. This is the custom one I had designed. I'm so excited to show you guys this one. Check this out. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, man. Check that bass out, guys. Another nice one. Another good sized fish. So, square bill again. So, we're starting to put the puzzle together. Another A Bay lure right there. This is my custom bait that I had designed. This is a my version of a bait that I used to love, that I used to call my lucky bait. That right there is the new Binya Outdoors version, we'll call it. And that right there was the first cast with this bait and he smoked it. That was an awesome fish catch. I think I'm gonna have to stick with square bills and that's gonna be the game plan. I've tried a chatter bait, I've tried some other baits and nothing seems to be working, but they're eating a square bill, which makes me happy because I love catching fish on a square bill. I'm gonna get back to it, see if we can get some more in the boat. Two hours later. Well, as you can tell, that's it. I casted a bunch, I worked my butt off to try to get a few more fish in the boat, but they just weren't having it. Ultimately, I think what they were is I got some rogue fish that were starting to feed up, starting to get ready for spawn, and that's what I lucked into. So it was a great day on the water. I ended up with three largemouth, one that may have been five pounds. Unfortunately, my scale is broken, so I can't take credit for that. I'm gonna go with like four and a half, four and a quarter maybe, but um, he may have been up there. All of those bass were caught on square bills, and Kitech Easy Shiner. That was it. It was that simple. I could not get him to hit on any other bait. It was all just slow rolling the bait, riding with the current, and that's all it took to get those fish to bite. I probably should have stayed in that bay a little longer, but me being me and me being greedy, I was trying to see if I could find some more information so that I could know what stage these bass are at. I have a feeling that these bass on this body of water are going to be pushing up to the bank probably soon probably this weekend they're gonna start pushing shallow i won't be here this weekend um, a little bit of a teaser i have a really awesome video coming up for the next episode so it's going to be a we'll say truck camping video i'm not going to tell you with who i'm going to show you guys that in the video but i'm making a trip doing some truck camping going to be doing a ton of fishing and it's going to be a really good time so stay tuned for that I want to thank you guys for coming along with me. If you haven't already, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and as always, let's get out there, catch more fish.